Good evening everyone and welcome. This is my first uh, broadcast. So I believe it's going to go according to how the Holy Spirit desires because I ask the Holy Spirit right now to uh, speak through me. I ask that your words come through me that you are the teacher in this human vessel. Speak through this instrument. I express my gratitude to you and to the entire universe and all the listeners right now. So I'm here to teach A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles is a message from Jesus directly. In the beginning of A Course in Miracles it says, those who look for controversy will find it. But those who look for clarification will find that as well. So really he puts the ball in your court that you are going to see what you want to see and that's in every given moment because the Course in Miracles is pointing back to your own power to see and because the body's eyes don't see that's the illusion that the body's eyes can see but it's the mind that perceives so we're just gonna get it started here today and just allow our hearts and minds to open to all that would come through right now Now, A Course in Miracles is unique in its presentation of God and spirituality and its direction in overcoming and surmounting the obstacles that appear to be in consciousness to your total union with your Father. Now, in reality, in the totality, that's already the case. It's already present, right here and right now. But, obviously, if you still perceive a world, people, anything else that you believe and think is separate from you, then your mind is unhealed. And it's my desire through teaching that that this message does gain momentum in myself and becomes stronger because ideas increase by being shared. My mind's always going back to what I've learned and what I've been taught through A Course in Miracles. Because it is A Course in Mind Training. Now, things will come up. And they are coming up right now in your mind. Thoughts, ideas, judgments. The Course's goal is to remove 
and or undo the ideas in your mind that you've placed out in the world. There's a line in A Course in Miracles that says, Ideas leave not their source. Now, the source is your mind. Period. You are responsible for what you see in this world. Now, Jesus explains this as forgiveness. But your role as a teacher of God is to, and even, not so much a teacher, but even a student. Student and teacher is really the same, but your role in that is to seek out not love, but the obstacles that you have built up against love. And it is a total commitment. It is a total commitment to mind training, to doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles. For me, it's doing the lessons, applying them to my mind, to my thinking, and reading the text of the workbook. So what I'm going to do right now is just open up the course randomly, just open it up and we'll see what, what comes here. Bringing the ego to God is but to bring error to truth where it stands corrected because it is the opposite of what it meets and is undone because the contradiction can no longer stand how long can contradiction stand when its impossible nature is clearly revealed what disappears in light is not attacked it merely vanishes because it is not true different realities are meaningless for reality must be one it cannot change with time or mood or chance its changelessness is what makes it real this cannot be undone undoing is for unreality and this reality will do for you So it goes back to the whole idea of all of this being unreal. That you are safe at home in heaven dreaming of exile here. But because you believe in a world and an ego that you made up, Jesus Christ has offered A Course in Miracles to undo what you have done. Let's open it up randomly again. The ego's plan for forgiveness is far more widely used than God's. This is because it is undertaken by unhealed healers and is therefore of the ego. 
Let us consider the unhealed healer more carefully now. By definition, he is trying to give what he has not received. If, he's the, uh, if he is a theologian, he may begin with the premise, I am, miserable, I am a miserable sinner and so are you. If he is a psychotherapist, he is more likely to start with the, equal, with the equally incredible idea that he really believes in attack and so does the patient. But it does not matter in either case. So you're always getting results of your own mind. And it becomes really simple as far as how you begin to see the ego and how it operates. It operates through attack, through seeing images in the mind and placing the guilt on these images in the mind. Bodies, people, situations. Whatever it may be that comes up in the mind, you recognize that this, this is what it has been doing all along. It has been placing the blame outside itself onto a seeming guilty world. But it's not there. It's projected. Entirely unreal. Entirely an illusion. The brain doesn't think. The body's eyes don't see. The body does not feel. It's all of the mind. And what I see is that A Course in Miracles does end this cycle of birth and death because you made up this world through projection. Entirely. It's all made perfect by projection. And, and it's being held together in your mind right now through belief. I believe it's lesson six, maybe it's seven, but it says, I see only the past. I see only the past, obviously, because this is all an idea that is already over and gone. And you're bringing the past with you right now and projecting it into this present moment. That's all you're doing. Each and every moment is bringing the past with you and projecting it into the now. That's all the ego does. It projects like a movie projector onto a screen. This whole world is an empty screen. <laughs> and it's the project the mind is the projector. It projects it. You can't change the world by interacting with the screen. You have to change what's in the projector, and that's the mind through forgiveness. You're recognizing that you're doing this to yourself. Beyond this world is a world that you want. You don't want pain and sickness and death anymore. You don't want that anymore. And you have to stop seeing it in the world. And how do you stop seeing it in the world? But by healing the cause, which is your mind. If you're still seeing pain, sickness, death, if you're still seeing these things, you need to heal your mind. You need to apply the lessons of a workbook of A Course in Miracles. I mean, in the beginning it says it is a required course. So obviously, Jesus was trying to tell us something through that statement. Yes? That, as I see it, there aren't any other teachings or past teaching this. So unless a person has had some sort of spontaneous awakening, which has been, which has happened in cases, then if that's not the case, then you need your mind trained. You need to see differently.
Thank you, Father. That we return to you. That we return to you wholeheartedly. That this world has disappointed us since time began. And we ask that you heal our minds from what was never true. Remember then that whenever you look without and react unfavorably to what you see, you have judged yourself unworthy and have condemned yourself to death. The death penalty is the ego's ultimate goal, for it fully believes that you are a criminal, as deserving of death as God knows you are deserving of life. The death penalty never leaves the ego's mind. For that is what it always reserves for you in the end. Wanting to kill you as the final expression of its feeling for you. It lets you live, but to await death. It will torment you while you live, but its hatred is not satisfied until you die. For your destruction is the one end to which it works, and the only end with which it will be satisfied. I'm grateful oh, everyone listened to this. This is my first <laughs> recording, so it's all a learning process for me and everything as I learn to, you know, teach this and let myself be taught, really, so I'm just teaching myself. And it's really just me that needs this, that needs to hear it. I need to hear it wholly. Because once I heal my mind, then you're healed. Mm -hmm. When I'm healed, I'm not healed alone. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you clicking on the play button. And everything. So have a good evening. I love you. Namaste.